Hi guys, I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make Hemul Bokgum Udon, uh, seafood star fried udon noodles. This is so delicious, and this is like uh, my old memory when I was early 20s when I'm party all day, all night in Korea. Um, it's one of my favorite soju food, but this is also really great dinner or weekend gathering for your friends and family. Got to make it so delicious, so let's get started. First, we need to marinate our seafood. So I prepared one pound of mixed seafood. I have shrimp, squid, and scallop because I'm so fancy like that, you know. Into the seafood, we are going to add one tablespoon of mirin, seasoned rice wine. Makganjang, it's a Korean seasoned soy sauce. So I already have this recipe. I didn't share on YouTube because it's a really short recipe. I just put it on my website, but there is also video tutorials. So go ahead and check it out. I will put the link down below. So makganjang, the seasoned soy sauce, has this fruity, Vegetable, umami, sweet, salty, savory, all this flavor in this seasoned soy sauce. It's amazing, amazing. Like when you have this soy sauce, you don't have to add too much of other ingredients. For, but for this recipe, we're gonna add a bunch of other ingredients, but whatever. And pinch of black pepper. Mix everything together and set aside. Now let's cut all our vegetables. First, cut two ounces of carrot. Just thinly slice the carrot about two inches long and half inch wide. Prepare the zucchini same way. Slice a quarter of large onion into half inch wide. Julienne thinly one red and one green chilies. Whole green onions cut into half inch lengthwise and then cut into two inch long pieces. Chop 10 cloves of garlic half teaspoon of ginger. Set all the vegetables aside and let's make bomb diggity sauce for this stir fry. So in a small mixing bowl, go ahead and add five tablespoons of makganjang, the seasoned soy sauce. The recipe is down below on my website, so check it out. I mean, you could use regular soy sauce, but at the end result, you can tell like it's not the same level of, you know, the flavor. Two tablespoons of mirin, seasoned rice wine. Two tablespoons of oyster sauce. One tablespoon of meshire, Korean green plum syrup. I um, keep bringing these ingredients bring up to the, my recipes, even though a lot of you guys, what can I substitute? Because in Korean cooking, this is one of like essential ingredients. So if you really love cooking Korean food, I highly recommend to have one in your house. If you're not make it, you can make it right here, the link right here. Go ahead and check out my recipe. Um, if you just want to purchase one, I will put the link down below, exact same brand that I'm using right now. This is not sponsored. I really just love this Meshire Hood Meshire. So go ahead and check down below link. Four tablespoons of gochugaru Korean red pepper flakes. And here is my secret ingredient. Half teaspoon of smoked paprika for this nice smoky flavor, like a fiery smoky flavor in this stir fry without doing this Chinese chefs doing with this super big wok fire, you know what I mean? And little pinch of hondashi is actually Japanese seasoning from the smoked bonito. If you don't have this one, you can definitely omit it. It's not necessary, but if you have it, just add a little bit. Lastly, pinch of black pepper and mix everything together. So let the sauce get thick. So set aside, and meanwhile, we are going to cook our udon noodles. So today, I'm using frozen udon noodles, but any, 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 any udon noodles, even different kind of noodles, ramen noodles, spaghetti, or, or any other noodles will do. Just cook the noodles following the direction of the package. Drain the udon noodles and rinse under the cold water to get rid of excess starch, and drain completely, and it's ready to go. Are we ready to stir fry? Let's get started. So heat your wok over high heat. Add three tablespoons of cooking oil. Add chopped garlic and ginger and stir fry for 30 seconds to one minute. Now go ahead and add onion and carrot because they take a little while to fully cook. Stir fry them about a minute. Now go ahead and add marinated seafood and cook them until they are halfway cooked through. 
Um, depending on the seafood size that you have, it will take two to four minutes. Now the seafood is cooked halfway through. This is time to start in zucchini. I didn't forget about the zucchini, okay? The zucchini just need to get in later because they are such a delicate vegetable. Start fry the zucchini with all the seafood and everything about 30 seconds. Then go ahead and pour the sauce. We are gonna toss the sauce with all other ingredients and bring the sauce to light simmer. Then go ahead and add prepared noodles. Finally, add the green onion, green chili, and red chili. Toss everything together. Turn it off the heat, garnish with some sesame oil and sesame seeds, and it's done. Hemul udong bokkum is actually one of my favorite soju anju. When I was 20, let's dig in. And I love, actually, I use the whole. Uh, I love the fact that I used the whole entire squid. Oops. Chicken. This looks like... Mean. Yeah. But it's not that spicy though. Like it's gonna... It looks like it's gonna... Come out with water. Mmm. 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 So good. Mm-hmm. Try it like this first if you can. Do oh, and I actually tteokbokki tteok rice cake is oh, really good too. Oh, that would be so good. <laughs> mm. It's not that spicy. It's like perfect as well. Mm. Oh, delicious. If you like my hamul, Udong, I'm not more than one. I'm just not just English. I'm 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 just and remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sanggyeong Longast. I'm Jacob Longast. I'm Yokin. And this is Asian at Home. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye bye. Tanmuji is there. Tanmuji. Tanmuji. Tanmuji.